Hi, I'm Carl. I wanted to do a super quick intro to Jamstack architectures. Jamstack refers to a software architecture approach leveraging JavaScript, APIs, and markup. That lets you create rich websites and apps without servers. Uh, basically, you generate your markup with a static site generator, deliver the whole thing via CDN, and use JavaScript and APIs for the dynamic parts. Why is this neat? You get the best possible speed in terms of page load, uh, the best possible SEO, fully crawlable by Google, Facebook, what have you, best possible security, there is no attack surface because there are no servers. There are no servers! That means there's no complex scaling setups needed and you have zero cost deployments because you're just copying to the CDN. Uh, for example, a Jamstack setup with Gatsby and Netlify could look something like this. The developer pushes the change to the repo, which triggers a build, uh, generating a new version of the app, which is deployed onto a CDN and instantly available to users. Optionally, you may also deploy Lambdas to AWS or just leverage third-party APIs like uh, Cognito for off or uh, Stripe for payments. The user experience of a Jamstack web app is usually lightning fast. For example, with Gatsby, it looks something like this. After the initial request, you get instant visibility and non-JavaScript interactivity, and it's fully indexable by search engines. Then React takes over and you get a full single-page web application with minimal code bootstrapped. When navigating, any visible route is optimistically preloaded, giving you instant navigation. Then, of course, you have code and data splitting, so you're lazy loading more of your app as you navigate. There is less and less need for custom backends, and your front-end developer basically becomes a full-stack developer. You still have the option for custom backends or lambdas, but in general, you'll be delivering more features with less developers. That's it, Jamstack in two minutes. For frameworks that embrace a Jamstack philosophy, check out, for example, Gatsby.js, Redwood.js, or Next.js.